On this page here, we're going to use the congruent triangles, and we're actually going to cross out SAS and put HL. That is a mistake I made earlier. We are going to use the congruent triangles formed by HL, formed by the radii and tangent lines, to find the perimeter or, or find the perimeter of the circumscribed polygons, which are the ones drawn along the outside of the circle. Let's start with uh, number 11 here. We only know that we have from the point here to the edge and this point here to the edge that are for sure going to be the same length. So I have to find something where I know just that segment. You can see on this side, this side, and on this side, I know the full length of the entire side. But this part here where I have this 8 is the only part where I have the little piece. So I need to start there. That means that this little piece over here is also going to be 8, because these are, by HL, going to be exactly the same. If that part is 8, then, by parts to whole, by subtracting away the 8 that I have out of this 15.6, I can find out that I have 7.6 here for this little red part. And because that's going to be the same as the one that matches up on the other side with the tangent line, I know that that's going to be 7.6 as well. And since I have 13.5 here, I can subtract away the 7.6 and get 5.9. And that 5.9 is going to be my next section here, 5.9. Such that when I add 5.9 and 7.6, I get 13.5. I get the total. And over here, when I add 8 and 7.6, I get 15.6. So that is all working out. Again, by the same concept here, if that's 5.9, then this is going to be 5.9 as well. Now, I don't have a side length over here, so I can't keep going. I have to go back to my original part. And if this is 8 and this whole thing over here is 10.6, I have a remaining 2.6 on the edge, meaning that over here I also have 2.6. My goal is to find the perimeter. I want to know the distance along the entire outside of this shape. I could add up all the little numbers. 8 plus 8 plus 2.6 plus 2.6 plus 5.9 plus 5.9 plus 7.6 plus 7.6. That would work. The even faster way is to add up the big numbers. I have 10.6, 15.6, and 13.5 that are entire side lengths. So that covers this, this, and this. The last part I don't have, right here, I can get by adding the 5, 9, and the 2, 6, just once. So I'm going to add 10.6 plus 15.6 plus 13.5 plus 5.9 plus 2.6. And when I do that, I get 48.2. Because it asks me to find the perimeter of the polygon. So the perimeter right here is 48.2.